Hello everyone, welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip 45 Drives. Um, what are we talking about this week? Well, we're talking about what's coming up, what's new out of 45 Drives. We spent a lot of time in the past, in the last past month and a bit, talking about our, our updates to the Houston modules. Um, and some of you may be wondering, what are you guys going to do next? Um, unfortunately, we don't get to take a sabbatical for the rest of the year. We have to keep working. Uh, no, I joke. Um, but Seth, our, our next kind of new developments are all circled around Ceph. Ceph is an ongoing uh, solution, big, big part of our business here. Uh, you've heard me talk about that a lot. So, what's new? Well, there's a new version of Ceph, Ceph Pacific. It's been out for a little bit. We're, uh, we're working on getting full support for that. Um, Rocky Linux, there'll be full Rocky Linux for, uh, for Ceph. And uh, another fun secret, no, not secret. I don't know. I'm looking for fancy words. We uh, have another uh, Houston module that greatly simplifies building Ceph clusters. Still uses Ansible, but kind of takes away some of the guesswork. Um, so without further ado, I want to show it to you. All right, so um, we're looking at a very familiar Houston screen. Some of you have probably seen a lot of this before, but if the attentive are paying attention, you might notice different, different logos. We are running on Rocky Linux this time, not just Ubuntu. So let's log in. Okay, nothing new here. Same old, same old Houston. Seth Rocky running on Rocky Linux 8.4. So uh, that's not what we're really here to show. We are here to show our so I'm not going to go into this step by step, but what I wanted to show you, um, I want to show you Hub World. Hub World is our is our way. Our, the, the the head developer who built this module um, uh, branded the graphical way of showing your path through building a Ceph cluster as Hub World, and I thought it was brilliant. So welcome to Hub World. This is how you can set up and deploy a Ceph cluster graphically. We've built this tool to work exclusively with 45 drives machines. Uh, using our architecture and, and how we alias and identify the drives. And it's still using Ceph Ansible underneath the hood. Um, as you can kind of see, you just graphically moves through your cluster. So this is supposed to be a tease. So I'm going to shut my mouth because you're going to see a lot more about this. Uh, uh, the developer himself, Mark, said he's going to come in and give you guys a big long tour. And uh, anyway, so we're probably at our first little release of this, so we've got a lot of bug fixing and, and, uh, and validation work to do, so um, no release date yet, but um, what do we do with 45 drives? We love to make big open source storage easier and easier so it can get into everyone's hands. Ceph has helped us do that immensely. Ansible has, always, has made that easier, and let's go one step further by putting it into Houston. So here's a tease, and um, that's that. Okay, so I would love to talk more and more and more and more about that, but again, this is only a tease, a little sneak peek of the things that's coming over the next little bit. So we'll keep you guys updated as we hit our goalposts. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch us next week. <laughs>